So as of right now, the iPhone 14 is probably one of the worst deals you could probably find for an iPhone right now. And the reason for that is because, not because the iPhone 14 is a bad phone, the iPhone 14 is a really, really good phone for the most part. The issue that we're having currently with the iPhone 14 is that we are so close to the iPhone 15's launch. And if even half the rumors are true, or in fact, even if one of the rumors are true, the iPhone 15 getting USB-C, that is probably enough of a reason to kind of wait out for less than a month to actually go ahead and see what the iPhone 15 is actually going to be bringing. Now, for those of you who don't know, like I mentioned, the iPhone 15 is basically right around the corner. It's going to be announced in September. So this is going to be one of those phones that is going to come out. A lot of people are going to buy. I'm sure a lot of people are going to use. But the iPhone 14 is already almost a year old of a phone. And the way Apple makes their phones is that they, you know, release them and then pretty much they stay the same price and they don't decrease the price usually until about a year later. So when the next iPhones come out, that is when Apple will decrease the price. If you're going in the used market, especially even there, those iPhones are also going to be pretty much the same price until about a year later when the iPhone 15s or the next iPhones come out. So I say that to say, if you're currently trying to go ahead and buy a new iPhone, you are probably doing yourself a disservice by purchasing an iPhone 14 as of right now. If I were you, I would probably just wait until the iPhone 15s come out. It looks like September 12th or around that time is when those iPhones are going to be announced. So you don't even have to wait a month. You have to wait like three weeks or so in order to even see what those iPhones are going to be bringing. And that's pretty much all you're going to have to do. As of that point, you can see what those iPhones are bringing. You can use them. You can buy them if you want to. Or you can go on the brand new market and buy an iPhone 14 for even cheaper. Or you can even buy a used iPhone 14 in the used market. And you can actually purchase one of those for significantly less than you could have before. And that's also going to be another way to save some money as well. So there are lots and lots of options here for the average person. If you want to go ahead and just buy one of these devices, they are all yours. There's lots and lots of capabilities between these types of phones. And I'm a big fan of all these devices, but I will tell you, the iPhone 14 as of right now, you are going to be doing yourself a wonderful service if you just wait a little bit of time, or wait until the iPhone 15s get announced like mid or early September. And then from there, you can go and buy an iPhone 14 later on if you really want to. So those are pretty much the main things to kind of remember here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.